So I got an angry email from a Zimbabwean and I was like, what? What have I done to the people of Zimbabwe? So of course, you know, I did my cross and I tried to read the, This is what the email said. Adiola, 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 you, you, you. How many times have I called you? Why are you so silent about a Zimbabwe crisis? The dictator is planning a million dollar birthday party at our expense. What? And then he said that the government is forcing the poor people to raise money for the birthday party, whether they like it or not. Please be our voice. Let the world know. We are sick and tired of this. It's time for Mugabe and his Gucci disgrace to go. Whoa. Okay. So they are not upset with me. <laughs> he was upset with Mr. President. You know, Oga Mugabe was up my Oga. Because apparently they made people contribute money for Mugabe's birthday. I said the devil is a liar. <laughs> Imagine Buari telling Nigerians to contribute money for his birthday. So why the people of Zimbabwe, why must they be subjected to contributing money for Mr. President's birthday? This is a country that recently declared a state of disaster because of drought. And then I've heard that this is the worst that they've seen so far. They said that a quarter of the population may lack food this month and subsequent months because of poor harvest. That's a lot of people when the population of the whole country is 14 million. Yet they were collecting offering from the same people. In case you don't know, Mugabe turned 19 two last week and the party went on for a whole week they slaughtered 50 cattle like okay that's just wastage and then they released 92 balloons into the air and they caught cake upon cake upon cake eight hundred thousand dollars they organized all kinds of concerts for a whole week they had street parades they bust people in from all over the country to come and celebrate there was one cake that weighed 92 kilograms that's about 200 pounds different ministries different governments the party were organizing parties for Mugabe. You know, the Ministry of Health will organize their own. The Ministry of Education will organize. It's like a competition. Yeah, this is how they wasted $800,000. I mean, it was huge. It was huge. They basically compared him with Jesus Christ. They even printed out posters that said, this Mugabe's birthday is like the birthday of Jesus Christ. Keep in mind, this is a country that fails to pay its workers' salaries on time. And people are going through the worst droughts in living memory of Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yet, they are spending almost a million dollars on Mr. President's birthday. And very recently, he donated 300 cows to the AU. You know, it's just, it's just ironic. His own people are dying of hunger, but he's making donations that will make other people see him as hero. You know, it's so funny that so many Africans that are not from Zimbabwe, so many of them would never see anything wrong with this. Because to them, Mugabe is a hero, so he can never do anything wrong. Meanwhile, these same people, they would never allow a president that would refuse refuse to leave power. They would never allow that in their country. Not to talk about them contributing money for Mr. President's birthday. No, they would never do that. There's nothing wrong in him speaking up against the West if they're doing something wrong, but he's not taking care of his people. And it's like so many people are not saying that. But you know, what is my own? All I know is Mugabe's wife has also been holding rallies. As you know, she wants to be the next president. I've been telling you about that for a long time. So her rallies have been causing a lot of division, a lot of fights among the party members. So Mugabe finally had to order her to stop the rallies. Meanwhile, the former vice president, that is uh, Joyce Mujuru, has now formed her own party and she has declared her intention to run for president. So it looks like it will be Grace and this woman. And don't forget that Mugabe has also said that he will run again in the coming election. <laughs> and I will keep you all posted with the election in Zimbabwe. Again, happy birthday to my Mugabe Mugabe. <laughs> and to the person that wrote me, my brother, I feel your pain. I am so sorry that you have to contribute your hard-earned money for Mugabe's birthday. Eh? Don't worry, everything will be okay. Anyway, you guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.